On a scale of one to ten, how much fun are you having? A ten. Man, look at this guy. Living his best life. Oh man, look at that, Vampire Freddy. I don't know, Target, that was a uh, pretty weak. Oh my God, another wobbler? <laughs> I was trying to surprise you, man. Go ahead, make my millennium. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel for another exciting vlog. Last night was pretty crazy as we hit 25,000 followers over on Whatnot. We did it live on a friend of mine's stream. He goes by the name of Lando's Bricks and Kicks. He is an amazing Lego seller that you guys should definitely check out if you are into Lego at all. But huge thank you to everybody. It took us four, a little over four years, but we managed to hit 25,000 followers followers on whatnot and we're going to be doing a big stream to celebrate in the very near future with a lot of exciting giveaways of course but in the meantime we've got a lot of work ahead of us for the next few days i apologize for the super messy hair i do need to get a haircut one of these days um, but we've got a lot of packing due to, to do today. We've got um, our Halloween auction that we need to continue prepping for. And Joanna is actually super busy right here, uh, hammering out emails and responding to everybody for incoming collections. Plus, over here, if you guys recall, we still have these massive collections that we need to dig into and inventory. So I'm pretty excited to see what stuff is in there. Plus, at some point, either today, tomorrow, or Thursday, I need to head on over to our P.O. box once again because we did get notification that more items have been delivered. So lots of work ahead of us. Oh, and on top of that, I need to film our catalog comparison video from last year's uh, New York Comic Con catalog comparing it to this year's New York Comic Con catalog. So lots of work. Stick around. Let's get to work. So the first thing that we're actually going to do, it's a little exciting. We have the October puck reveal as these just got delivered. Oh, they're orange. First orange puck ever. Oh my gosh. It's you, me, and Alex. <laughs> but Day of the Dead version. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so you good. Like you did such a good job, babe. Look at the Funko crown on your dress. Hopefully it'll zoom in so you guys can see. And it on was hard. the it hat was, as well. It was, these were hard to make. These are amazing. So everybody at the $10 level and up for Patreon will be getting these in their packages, of course, for the month of October. And these will also be available over on our Whatnot streams we for charity. We ordered a hundred, so... Um, Not gonna be many. No, there's gonna be about 15 for charity, not even. Oh, wow, all right, so pretty limited, but you did yeah, an amazing job. Yeah, they didn't job. have any more than 100. Um, the oh, limit wow. was 100, I think it was like 107, but you can only order in increments of 10. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah, so that's um, super dumb. they messaged me that we they only had 100 uh, left because I wanted 120, mm. so 100 it is. Wow. That's it. Okay, well, they came out amazing. You did a great job on the design. Here is some of the stuff that we sold last night that we need to get packed up. Here is the rest of it. And then we had some items that we also gave away. So we have uh, some of those over there. And then there was a couple more purchases towards the end of the stream. A lot of people were very excited. I don't recall off the top of my head who ended up winning the Freddy Funko as Carnage, but congratulations again to that person who won. But now we're going to get to business here and uh, start packing everybody's orders so they can get shipped out. And Joanna's going to continue working over here on the computer as I know we have a lot of emails that came in over the last few days that need to be addressed. And Alex is going to live his best life as he was just hanging out outside for a while. So now he's going to chill in bed. Oh, he heard the keys. Yeah, not going anywhere for at least a few minutes. Well, it took us about three hours, but here we are, six full bags and one giant Funko box later. We have everything packed up and ready to ship out for tomorrow's pickup. Now it's time for me to film some content, which I'm pretty excited about. Unfortunately, the thing I'm not excited about is having to relocate Alex. All right, so I just got done filming my catalog comparison video. Got a little heated because I'm actually really upset that we're not getting a Franny this year for New York Comic Con. But while I've been filming my video, Joanna has actually been hard at work prepping for our Halloween auction. So look at that, double teaming and uh, 
getting a lot of stuff done. I also want to point out that even though I moved Alex's bed and um, he has the beanbag chair as well, he has decided to somehow wrap himself around the uh, table post here. Alex, that can't be comfortable. Like, this floor is super cold and disgusting, yet he's found a way to go to sleep. Before I show you all the hard work that Joanna has done, I actually found a new home for the Freddy Funko Bumblebee that I recently added back to my collection. So I got him next to Optimus Prime. And then I realized I have Megatron up here. I'm still missing a few though. I think I'm missing Freddy Funko as Soundwave and Freddy Funko as one of the other Transformers that I just, I can't remember off the top of my head. I wanna get all the Freddy Transformers. And then I placed Freddy Funko as Vision on top of my Freddy Funko as Captain America, 250 piece metallic. So super psyched to have this one now in the collection and very happy to have Freddy Funko as Bumblebee back in the collection. I'm wondering if they're gonna make any more Freddy Funko as Transformers figures. But Joanna's over here working hard for the Halloween show. She's been alphabetizing all the pops, getting them in order and everything. Looks like she put all the Halloween pops on this black shelving unit right here. Man, we got a lot of nice ones. Actually, I literally just talked about this one in my catalog comparison video. They did a good job with the Freddy Bones. I love that mold. Absolutely insane. We've got the Freddy Zombie right here as well. Glitter 3000 piece. We actually have a good amount of Freddy's. Oh, there's another one right here. Which one is this one? Oh, Freddy Funko is Hopper from Stranger Things. This is going to be a fun uh, Halloween auction for Friday. We've got Casper. I'm going to give you guys a full preview probably at the end of this video, but it's getting pretty late. It is about, oh shoot, it's 11.15 already and we haven't had dinner. So we're going to wrap up here for the night and uh, go get some food. What do you think, Alex? Let's go have dinner. He said yes. So it's Wednesday about 7 o'clock at night and I actually just got done editing the catalog comparison video for NYCC. I wanted to get it out today on the channel, but we were pretty busy. I had some doctor's appointments this morning and we had to sit down with the contractors for a while. But the video is actually rendering now and we'll have it posted on the channel tomorrow for Thursday. And now it's time to finally break into these collections that have been sitting here for a few extra days now, but if you guys have been seeing all the footage on the channel over the last week or so, then you'll understand just how busy we actually are. So this collection right here consists of two boxes, one very large one and one small one. And we're gonna see what's inside this small one first. Oh, it looks like we have some sodas. And we have a little note right here. Hey, John and Joanna, 30 common sodas and nine chase sodas. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm always curious to see what soda characters come in the door. It looks like these are all very well wrapped too, all individual and everything. It's gonna take a extra minute to unwrap all of these, but I would much rather have that than sodas just thrown into a box, which we have gotten before from other people here in the community. So this looks really good. Really appreciate, oh man, look at that, Vampire Freddy. Oh gosh, that is perfect with our Halloween stream coming up this weekend. So here are all the commons that we got in the box. We got some great ones, a couple Reptars, which is great, Prince John, Misfit Elephant, but the two big highlights of the box for me, as far as the commons goes, we got that Vampire Freddy and a Winnie the Pooh. For whatever reason, Winnie the Pooh is 10,000 pieces, but man, he is one of the hardest sodas to come by these days. And then as for the chases, we got two Shoto Todoroki's, Bedtime Bear, Santa Jack, Dustin, Snow Miser, Lucy Van Pelt from the Peanuts Cooler, Jim Halpert, and Wolverine. And I wanted to show off the Bedtime Bear chase because 
This one is flocked. He's got this super cute little heart on its butt. And it's just an awesome one that we don't get very often these days. Only 1,250 pieces on him. Everybody's always asking for the Care Bear sodas. And I was super delighted to see a chase. We did unfortunately have one casualty. This is a pretty common one though when it comes to the underdog soda. The top of his head did break, which is definitely a bummer. But it seems to be happening a lot with this soda in particular during shipping. So I'm not sure if Funko just didn't do a good job of gluing that little hair piece in there or if it's just such a tiny feature that it just breaks very easily. But nonetheless, definitely a bummer. Still a great soda though with Underdog. Now we're gonna get into this second box. And it looks like in this box, we have Pops, yes. Oh, we even got some more. Oh, that's perfect. More Freddy Wobblers. Man, I was just doing really well. Our Wobbler army was shrinking a little bit. So now we've got some more to add to our ranks. But once again, man, huge shout out to the two people that sold us this collection because they did an excellent job individually bubble wrapping every single item. This is Fantastic. Oh, look, Elvira. That's going to be a good one for the Halloween show. That's perfect timing. So here are all the pops that were in this massive box. Definitely got some interesting ones like this Chainsaw Man right here. We also got a couple four packs with the Wakanda Forever four pack. I do need to fix Shuri right there, but I love the Ironheart Mark II that comes with this. And Ironheart is getting her own Disney Plus series. That is one of the few shows that Disney is still moving forward with in conjunction with Marvel. So I'm curious to see how that goes. Then we got an awesome Nightmare Before Christmas four pack that will be available in our Friday night auction. Then we've got this really nice Dumbo, the Flying Elephant Attraction Ride, a Jaskier Chase from The Witcher, Rachel Green from Friends, the Pop Bucklers mascot pop, that beautiful Blacklight Elvira, the Mandalorian, those Freddy Wobblers. Um, we also got another Freddy right here, the Freddy Funko as Dwight Schrute from last year's Camp Fun Days, limited to only 3,000 pieces. Here's another great one that will be thrown into the Halloween auction, this Day of the Dead Flash. Absolutely love this one. Then we got a NFL pop. Definitely got to highlight this guy because we do not get many NFL pops in these days, especially with it being football season now. This is the Fanatics exclusive Jalen Hurts. And then the other one, or the other item that I wanted to highlight is this G.I. Joe lunchbox. It is actually a Funko item. And believe it or not, two pops fit perfectly inside this lunch tin. We do have Duke from G.I. Joe and Megatron from Transformers. And we also got some other little goodies here like this uh, Autobots keychain and then some G.I. Joe. It looks like these are pins. Yeah, some G.I. Joe and Transformers pins. So pretty awesome. And I think if I remember correctly, yes, look at that. So you got Transformers on one side and then G.I. Joe on the other. So this is a pretty sweet lunch tin right here. I believe it was a GameStop exclusive. So not bad for the pops inside this box, but now let's see what's in those big boxes. A scale of one to 10, how much fun are you having? A 10. <laughs> it's 11.30 at night and we're still inventorying collections. Let's see what's in this next box. We've got this one, this box down below, and then that last box. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go get more. So, all right, let's see what we got. Cardboard aside. Okay, looks like we got some Stranger Things, C-3PO. Oh, Toby versus Michael from The Office. Nice two-pack right here in a protector. Man, those multi-pack protectors, you don't see them enough these days. Let's see what else we got in here. So here are the contents of box number one from this new collection. We've got a lot of Stranger Things. We've got that Chase 8-bit Demogorgon, a Blacklight Demogorgon. I also really like, not from Stranger Things, obviously, we have the Fall Convention 2018 Jabberjaw. I think that one's pretty fantastic. We also have Tech from the Bad Batch, rest in peace. Down here we have that Toby vs. Michael 2-pack, C-3PO art series, Bugs Bunny art series, and arguably the best pop in the box. Look at that. Purple flocked Scooby-Doo. Man, he could not have come at a better time. Also, Gamer Deadpool is pretty cool as well. And now let's see box number two. This is a bigger box, 
So there should be a lot more pops or sodas inside this one. I really appreciate how this person took the time to put cardboard pieces in between each layer of pops. Look at that. Colonel Sanders, Hobgoblin t-shirt bundle, 11 blacklight. Oh, look at the Sesame Street. We do not get Sesame Street enough these days. This is the orange Oscar the Grouch. For you guys who don't know, this is actually the original color of Oscar. Look at that. And it's even on the back of the pop. Little fun fact right there. He was not originally green. He was originally that yellowish orange color. Oh man, from 2015 too. That's awesome. So you guys know the drill. Let me see what else is in here. And inside the second box, we actually have a lot more Stranger Things. So let's see what else we got. We have Birdie the Early Bird. A couple Rugrats pops right here with Chucky and the Tommy Chase. The Diamond 7-Eleven Good Slurper Cup Slurpee. That's kind of funny. The Rocketeer. Check out this Billy and Karen 2-pack from 2018 San Diego Comic-Con. This is the shared sticker, but... It still actually has some pretty good value. There's that Hobgoblin t-shirt bundle. Down here, we've got the Marvel Collector Core Spider-Man, a.k.a. Miles Morales. Uh, Bob Ross and the Little Raccoon. That one's super adorable. A couple more Office Pops with Dwight Schrute as the Elf and Dwight Schrute as Recyclops. There's Monica Geller from Friends. Ahsoka from The Clone Wars. April O'Neil from The Turtles line. Another Blacklight Dustin, Boba Fett Unmasked, that was the Walmart metallic version, The Watcher for Marvel's What If, Red Chrome Boba Fett from his TV series, Ross Geller, Glow in the Dark Wanda Maximoff, and then check out this one. I don't know if most of you guys watching were in the community when this one dropped, but this white shroot with the Princess Unicorn doll was actually a sellout drop. If I remember correctly, I think it dropped during San Diego Comic-Con 2021 at the same time as all the exclusives and everybody went nuts it was a really crazy time i absolutely love that pop it's from a hilarious office episode -la 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 but let's see what's in the third and final box and show them what they've won behind door number three we've got more cardboard and it looks like more pops oh there's a couple sodas Got a Gladiator Hulk soda rattling around right now. Oh, there we go. Little lights and sounds. Kylo Ren, just in time for Toys for Tots. Little Kylos for kids action. A couple more sodas floating around. A good soda right here. Look at this. Original Count Chocula. I see a lot more Stranger Things. So, oh, Cusco soda. We just sold out of those. Oh, we have some Pez here as well. I actually like the pop pets. Oh, this one's cute. This is Mary Jane from the Spider-Man Gamerverse, and she's holding a little itty bitty Spider-Man doll. Such a great one, but I'm curious to see what else is in here. And here is the final part of this collection, and actually the last bit of collections that we have to inventory until tomorrow. <laughs> so we actually have quite a few Stranger Things pops. Once again, there's 11 in the burger shirt, Steve, lots more office. There's Dwight Schrute. We've got Pam Beasley up here. There's Dart from Stranger Things, 8-Bit Mike, a couple Star Wars mixed in. We've got Cara Dune, FN2199, the Cassian Andor version from the Andor season one. Uh, down here, we've got another Ahsoka. I believe this is the mechanic version. Hooded Yoda. Dwight Schrute. This is him in his little Sith outfit from that Halloween episode. What are you? A monk? I'm a Sith Lord. The blonde Dwight Schrute. Golden face. We saw Mary Jane. Officer Mac. Taskmaster. Dustin in hockey pads. Fry Kids. And then check out this bad boy. You never know what soda version it is until you pop open the can. Oh my gosh, 1200 piece, original, Boo Berry inspired Count Chocula. That is just unbelievable to see in a collection. So that's gonna be a top hit in an upcoming Duck Duck Chase game. That is a super OG ad icon grail soda that I'm gonna get back in its can ASAP so it stays well protected. But we're gonna inventory this collection, get it on the shelves, and I'm actually pretty happy with the items that came in. Unfortunately, some of the items in this third box did come 
pretty damaged like for instance this mystique right here which is a true bummer because a lot of people have been asking for x-men pops but some of these just got really banged up because there was some extra space in that third box so if you're ever packing a collection or shipping off a large assortment of pops make sure they're packed to the brim because leaving that extra space will actually do a lot of harm to the items inside. What's going on everybody? Happy Thursday afternoon. I'm actually on my way over to our PO box to pick up all the packages and collections and everything that's waiting for us. I'm a little bit nervous because we've gotten a lot of notifications over the last 48 hours. So I think there's quite a few boxes waiting for us. I'm also going to grab some lunch for Joanna and I from Chick-fil-A. We haven't had Chick-fil-A in a while, so that's exciting. Plus I have some Amazon returns and I'm thinking I might pop into Target and Walmart just to see what their pop sections are looking like these days. Maybe there's some good deals to be had. Um, not sure, so let's see what we can find. All right, well, good thing I didn't bring Joanna or Alex with me this time because the car is full. We've got pop collections, soda collections, and a bunch more Toys for Tots donation boxes. Man, you guys are killing it with the kindness this season. It is the beginning of October. This whole box right here is actually another Toys for Tots box as well. So thank you guys so much for the support. Now let's go to Target. All right, here we go, let's do this. So it actually took me a little while to find the pop section, but I did eventually find it on this end cap. And as you guys can probably see right away, a lot of these pops are unfortunately on clearance. So we have a couple 8-bit pops right there, that Blacklight Daredevil. Up here we actually have the 10-inch Blacklight Daredevil, which has several clearance stickers on it. Um, down here we have the Blacklight Daredevil comic book cover, which I didn't even know was a thing. Also. This Spider-Man was actually really cool. Unfortunately, not on clearance, and it was also ripped on the back, so that's why I ended up leaving it there. But they also had more 8-bit pops with that Sauron from the X-Men line down here. I'm not sure what these were, but they were kind of cool looking movie popcorn buckets. Then they had a lot of the deluxe Spider-Man No Way Home pops as well. Here is the Green Goblin comic cover. Over here, I did spot some Star Wars ones. Here is Han Solo from the Jabba's Skiff line. That one was actually surprisingly very inexpensive. So I guess that line did not sell very well. But uh, overall, I mean, nothing too crazy about what you'd expect. I was a little sad to see this Green Lantern though. I don't know, Target, that was a pretty weak pop section. Man, that Green Lantern still from C2E2. I get it, the 8-bit pops are there. They're not the most popular things in the world, but I think we need to step up our game a little bit. We are gonna go check out Walmart now, which happens to be right across the street. Man, I'm not sure what they're giving away at Walmart, but this place is crazy packed. It's like a line of cars trying to get into the parking lot. Lord knows what it's gonna look like inside. So Walmart's pop section was actually much easier to find. It was back with the electronics, which it normally is. They had a couple Jungle Book pops right here. There's Blue, as well as some Batman ones here from the 85th line. I actually really like how they did these boxes. Of course, you have the nice, really clean 85th anniversary of Batman logo in that bottom right-hand corner. You also have Vicky Vale right here. This is the first Vicky Vale pop that Funko ever made. Unfortunately, these were all a little beat up. They did have some really nice Barbie ones though. This Barbie astronaut pop is absolutely gorgeous and definitely one that we're gonna have to pick up at some point for our collection. Then we had Luffy Gear 5 here from One Piece. They actually had quite a few of him. And then down here, they had a Whitney Houston Diamond 3-pack. They also had some Funko Fusion Pops, which was pretty cool. No chases, unfortunately, so somebody already came through and um, you know picked over the Funko Fusion line, but still, they really stand out amongst all the other pops. They did have one lonely sealed hard stack for somebody that ends up taking it home, but overall, nothing crazy. Some more Pokemon Pops. I did actually dig through the Batman ones and found Batman, as well as a couple other ones as I shift them over. A couple of Jokers, some more Vicky Vales, but yeah, nothing crazy about what you'd expect, unfortunately, at Walmart. I don't know what was worse, Walmart or Target. Both their Funko selections are pretty awful, so it's pretty clear that Funko is moving away from 
having items in big box stores, which is honestly okay, but still, you wanna see a little bit of something on these shelves. So yeah, that was that was pretty weak. Chick-fil-A has been acquired. So I just got home a few minutes ago. Joanna and I enjoyed our Chick-fil-A, and I figured now would be a great time to give you guys an update on the kitchen renovation. And since you guys last saw the kitchen, a lot of work has been done. Uh, the ceiling has been painted, walls have been painted. They're actually in the process of putting down the new floor. Over here, they actually widened the doorway, which is gonna be really nice because it was a little tight before going in and out of the doorway. And then the cabinets uh, got delivered a few days ago. So tomorrow, I believe they're gonna be putting in the sink, which is here as well. So it's, it's coming together. They've done a lot of work and we're really excited, of course, to see the finished product. Another thing that they did, which we really were excited about, was they actually made the entryway from the kitchen into the living room much bigger, and it really opens up the area. We're gonna have a big table that stretches from the kitchen area to the living room area, so having the extra inches there on each side of the pathway is really nice. So a lot of things coming together and a lot of work still that needs to be done. They're just, I think they're getting close to the halfway point of the renovation, but just wanted to give you guys a little update. So I'm back in the garage. I just got all of the boxes unloaded from the car. So I'll be going through those probably Sunday, early next week, but super excited because four of those boxes, the ones all the way to the right are actually all Toys for Tots donation boxes. So seriously, huge shout out to this amazing community. You guys are just killing it with the generosity and we are so thankful. Once again, deadline for Toys for Tots is November 6th and our auction is November 16th. It's a Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern. I've got PFO in a few minutes, so I need to set up my... Uh, webcam and microphone and everything for that live stream. But I actually just posted, excuse me, Alex, a little teaser on Instagram. Check out all of the Halloween Freddies that we have for Friday night's auction. We've got some killer ones too. Look at that. Freddy Funko is the spooky space kook from Scooby-Doo. Freddy is the creep as well as the blacklight 2000 piece Freddy as Casey Jones. There's a bunch of different versions of Freddy Bones, all from last year for the most part. And then we even have this really awesome Vampire Freddy vinyl. This was a uh, HQ exclusive. And then check this one out from a few years back. Such an awesome Freddy, the Franken Freddy with the cell phone. It was a Funko Shop exclusive, just a really nice one. And then speaking of Freddy, I'll give you guys a little bonus heads up. We are actually giving away Freddy Funko as Danny Phantom, limited to only three thousand pieces $100 pop right here super excited to see who's gonna be taking this one home absolutely free so we're gonna clean up the table a little bit before I get ready for a PFO and then we need to get the back wall ready for tonight's auction it's coming up only 24 hours away so before I give you guys a close-up look at some of the amazing Halloween items that we have going up for sale tonight check out my amazing Beetlejuice costume. Man, Joanna did not disappoint. Look at this makeup, the wig, absolutely insane. She's gonna be dressed up as Lydia, and I will, of course, be Beetlejuice for tonight's auction. How crazy is this? She's got some impressive skills when it comes to costumes and face paint, but enough about me. If you guys wanna see me tonight, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, over on whatnot, but let's check out these amazing pops. Here we go, let's head on over to the wall. So we've got some Wednesday, Enid, Eddie. Oh, love this cutie corn from the Fantastic Plastic line. Chase, Bloody Ash, Hannibal Lecter. We have the whole set of the Munsters, including Herman, Lily, Grandpa, and Eddie. Eddie's our favorite, love Eddie. Zero in the duck cart, 11 with Eggos, Chase. Vampire Bob, we've got a ton of Stranger Things tonight. Oogie Boogie in the dice cart. Glow in the dark, Day of the Dead, Joker. Freddy Spirit, Pennywise, Chase. Freddy Funko as the creep from the TV series. He's only limited to 1,600 pieces. Frank and Freddy with the cell phone. Glow in the dark, Jack O'Bonny from Five Nights at Freddy's. Jumbo here from the Killer Clowns. Jason Voorhees, Magenta from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Cousin It. Down here we have Carrie. Freddy Funko as the spooky space cook from Scooby-Doo. 
Cordelia Fox from American Horror Story Coven, Twisted Metal, we have Sweet Tooth here, Dr. Blake Downs from Children's Hospital, Chucky, Blacklight Frankenstein, Victor with Scraps from The Corpse Bride, Morticia Adams from The Adams Family, Sarah Sanderson, Mayor in Ghost Cart, Emily, another version of Freddie Bones, Sally in the Cat Cart, Uncle Fester, this is the Glow 3000 piece, black and white Freddy Bones, Glow Chase Skeleton Stitch, Behemoth, Charlie the Robot, Blacklight Freddy is Casey Jones, Butch Coolidge or Butch Coolidge, uh, the Glow in the Dark 1000 piece, Jolly Roger, Slim from Killer Clowns, and Dr. Frankenfurter just to show off some of the heat for tonight. And of course, guys, don't forget about our Danny Phantom Freddy Funko giveaway. We hope to see you tonight, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, over on Whatnot for this legendary Halloween spectacular. If you enjoyed this vlog, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and as always, don't stop shooting until you score.